Hey gang and welcome to your very first Bulma CSS tutorial. Now just really quickly before we start the tutorial, for those of you who want to support the channel and join the gang officially, you can do it by clicking that join button right here, it's just 99 cents or pence per month and you get these cool little ninja loyalty badges next to your name in the comments down below when you leave a comment. You can also join by clicking the button right beneath the video if you're watching one now, which I'm guessing you are, it does exactly the same thing. Alright so now that's out of the way, let's get on with the tutorial. So then, in this tutorial series, we're going to build this product landing page using Bulma CSS and it's going to be fully responsive, so it looks good on smaller screen sizes as well as large ones. And it's going to also include a couple of different interactive elements like modals and also tabbed content. So, Bulma CSS is a CSS framework much in the same vein as things like Bootstrap and Materialize in that it gives us a load of different utility and component classes and tools to style our websites with, to create things like breadcrumbs, cards, dropdowns, menus, etc. But whereas frameworks like Bootstrap also come bundled with JavaScript files for controlling things like modals, tabs, or mobile menus, Bulma doesn't do that, it just focuses on the CSS, and in that sense it has less of an opinion about how we implement the functionality of any UI components. Now, I'm not one for forcing my opinion on you as to which framework or what type of framework is best. Personally, I like using a bunch of them for different projects, and I do like Bulma because it's pretty simple and it lets me decide how to implement interactive components myself, and it also takes a mobile-first approach towards layout, meaning content always generally looks good on smaller devices too. So in this course, we're going to be learning all the basics of Bulma first, fonts, sizes, colors, and spacing, all that kind of jazz. And then after that, we're going to dive into creating our product page using the Bulma layout system, which is based on Flexbox. And we're also going to use components like modals, tabs, navbars, and cards. And by the end of it, you're going to have a pretty nice looking product page design and hopefully enough knowledge to go out and make your own web pages with Bulma. Before you start, however, I would suggest that you already have a decent understanding of HTML and CSS, and that's because we'll be writing HTML to create the web page. And I would always recommend learning the basics of CSS before you learn any CSS framework, so that the framework makes more sense to you and that you understand what's actually happening under the hood when we use one. Now, I do have a full HTML and CSS crash course on this channel, and you can check that out if you need to. The link is going to be down below. Now, I'd also recommend knowing at least the very basics of JavaScript, and that's because we'll be using it to control some interactive elements like the opening and closing of modals. Again, I've got a free modern JavaScript tutorial on this channel, which you can check out too. And again, the link is going to be down below in the description. All right then, so first things first, we wanna get set up to use Bulma in our project. Now I'm gonna use VS Code as my text editor of choice, you don't have to, but if you want it, you can get it for free at code.visualstudio.com. I'm also gonna use a package for VS Code, which is gonna spin up a local development server for us so we can preview our work in a browser. And to install that, go to the packages icon down here, type in live server and search for that. And it's this package right here you need to install. So I'm going to show you how to use that in a second. But first of all, if we go to the files, you can see I've already created this index.html file. That's where we're going to do all of our code. And inside here, I'm going to type in doc. And if you have VS Code, you can press tab. And that's going to boilerplate a very simple HTML file for us. I'm just going to change the title to Ninja Coffee right here. And then down here, I'll do a simple h1 and type in hello Bulma. All right then, so if I want to preview this in a browser now using that package that I've got installed, Live Server, I can just right click and go to open with Live Server and that's going to open up in a browser right here. And now whenever I make a change over here like this and save it, it's going to auto refresh in the browser so we can see that change. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is grab the Bulma framework and link it inside our index file. So to do that, go to the Bulma docs right here. This link is going to be down below. Then go to overview and then start. And we want to scroll down to this snippet right here. It shows you how to set up a starter project. And it's this link we need right here to the Bulma framework. So this is just a CDN link to the CSS file. 
paste it in right there and press save. Now, if I do that and then preview this again over here, you're going to see that H1 has changed styles. So all of the default browser styles have been stripped out and we can see that that comes from Bulma if we inspect this element. You can see right here, all of the H tags, all of a font size of 100% and a font weight of 400. And that's coming from the Bulma CSS file. So Bulma strips out a lot of the default browser styles for elements like headings, anchor tags, paragraphs, etc., so that we don't have to wrestle with them when we style our web page. And it applies some very simple base styles to them instead. So all the font sizes are the same for different elements, and they all use the same simple font family as well. So I'm going to now add in an anchor tag, and we can see that this as well is going to be different than a normal anchor tag. So let me just type in hello and save that and we can see we don't have an underline under the anchor tag anymore it's stripped out those styles and it's just applied some basic default styles instead so we're going to learn much more about all of this as we go on Finally though, I just wanted to mention the course files for this project. They're all here on this GitHub repo right here, Bulma UI Build. And because I'm a super ninja, I've created course files for every single lesson in this series. So if you want to see the code for lesson five, for example, you go to the branch drop down and choose lesson five, and you're going to see all of the different files and the code in those files right here. If you wanted to download a zip folder of this lesson, you go to code, click that, and then download the zip folder. Or if you're proficient with Git and GitHub, you can just clone the repo to your desktop. So then, my friends, that is your introduction to Bulma. I really hope you enjoyed this series. If you do, do not forget to share, subscribe, and like. That really means a lot. And we're going to see you in the very next tutorial where we're going to take a look at fonts and colors.